Welcome back guys. This time during this political crisis we are seeing USA and other parts of the world. I decided to make a video talking about how I changed my views of support from Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton to Bolsonaro knowing some of his flaws fell and Donald Trump. But just clarifying a little bit more. I really prefer Donald Trump. I'll explain. But first I must go back to the past when I was younger. The times I was at elementary school. So let's go. In my life here in Brazil, I always had to deal with poverty. My parents came from Bahia to Rio de Janeiro when I was still a baby. One of my aunts was trying to make a living here really hard. So we weren't entirely alone as well as my mother had experiences living here for a short time before. We passed a period living in the house of people that my aunt used to do some cleaning services. My parents were passing humiliation there. After this, when I was already speaking and running around, we moved for a rented house near to my aunt. But it was for a short time either, until my aunt and her sister-in-law bought a terrain and gave it to us to build our house. The one I'm living until these days. It was such a difficult life. My father got a chance to work as a bus driver after showing some notions of carpentry to the employers. Yeah, it happened. Rio in the end of the 90s was plenty of opportunities. He worked in the transport area for a long time, as well as building our house slowly. Until one day, my father got the decision to get out of the job because of the many abuse the company used to submit their employees. While my father was still in negotiation with the company, he was trying to think what to do next to sustain me and my mother. I still remember this day. I was 9 to 10 years old walking next to him in a forest road next to the main street from the neighborhood of Curicica and asking him about the problem. So I suggested him why not sell ice cream again. And my father was observing something across the main street. An empty small business lot to rent. So thanks to me, our problem was solved. My father got knowledge that a socialist politician called Garotin with his wife, who was governor of the state, were announcing an easy way for small business to start making contracts with big companies. Yeah, that was a great thing for sure, but the ideology is still dangerous. Many socialist politicians were always talking about taking from the rich through high taxes to give to the poor, promising social programs and better public services. Was in this way Lula got elected in 2002. He put all the poor against the rich. During that time, we got this mentality because we thought all sorts of our problems were coming from the rich people, just because a popular politician was saying it. At least, Garotin and his wife made a good thing at that time. That was not taking from the rich but building a bridge between the poor and the rich. My father got the chance and made a contract with Nestle Ice Creams and rented that lot. We started working in the next year, 2004. In the beginning, it was fantastic. I still remember my first day at work. I was serving customers with a huge smile on my face. Why not? That was my idea. I was seeing it bringing great results and that was making success on that street. I was really happy to help my family and engaging with such responsibility earlier in my life. But things messed it up. My father got too much excitement in the business success and he decided he would make the place be open from Mondays to Sundays. Since the first week of experience, my father was seeing a huge amount of money being made in a way he had never seen before. In the first year, I didn't feel an exhaustion because I was still 10 with a lot of imagination in mind. If things were getting boring, I had toys to play or just how I was watching something on TV was fine until serving the next client. Things started to get out of control in the next year, 2005, when I started the 5th year of elementary school. Everything changed. 2004 was the only year I got some people to hang out with me at school and the school was the only place I had some brief from my work. But now bullying is starting again, new nasty faces showing up and no one to make things easy to me. And in this phase of elementary school, I remember some pages from one of our books talking about capitalism and socialism. I saw these images again in a documentary video from right wings from my country talking about the indoctrinations in schools. That's why I decided to make this video. I remember these images, and I think they are from two books from the 5th and the 6th year of elementary school. 
I also remember that the cartoons from 2000 were starting to complain about capitalism and blame it from nowhere. I wasn't understanding anything, I just used it to repeat the lines just for mockery. But I always had this question in my mind for some reason. Is it really this bad? And in fact, I always had time to think about it, because I was alone all the time. I was obligated to hang out with girls at school, and I was totally different from them. My personality is still way more masculine than feminine, so obviously, I had a clash with it. So when it was 2006, things got worse for me. The class was humiliating me even more. My despair was increasing, because I didn't have anyone there to talk about anything I like it. I was always a fan of video games. Yeah, I used it to hang out with other teams in the neighborhood where the retail was located. And one of them became a friend of mine at that time. He had a computer and, for my luck, he used it to like Sonic either. We were always playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles when my parents let me go to his house. Also, at that time, I got the chance to have my first console. It was a Mega Drive 2 with a cartridge with 10 games in memory. Nobody in my class had it. They could never imagine how it was to have a simple obsolete video game from the 90s in their homes. Can you guys imagine the poverty and ignorance of these people? And just because I was getting the chance to have something they couldn't afford, they were going after me harder. My video game didn't save me from the symptoms of depression. Because the school is in fact the most important place in teens' lives. It's the place that is preparing you to the world when you don't have the choice of home education. Home education can eliminate many social problems in the life of a teenager. But unfortunately, here in Brazil, I've never heard about it. I don't know even if this exists here. My work in the retail was making me get stressful because I was there every single day. No time or weeks to relax. Time to relax was really rare. So what could possibly go wrong even more after this? My father from nowhere got contact with the family of a woman from his past that he had a daughter with. He had other women before my mother. So he decided to travel back to the state we used to live to see her. Okay, nothing wrong until now. But when he came back, he was encanted with her family. So he decided to help her pay her studies in university. That was the ass of the situation. Can you imagine how bad my father started to treat me? He made me as a slave even more. Our house until these days are not all finished. He stopped the construction and completion of the first floor of our house to give all the money we were making to her and her family. And she wasn't in need at all. Her family have way, way better financial state than me. The taxes we pay in Rio are higher than there. She never had to work to help her family. I was the one doing it. My father turned her into a devil in treatment to me. I wasn't being praised for anything, just arguments all the time and more demand for work. I was seeing myself with my dreams just stuck in my head, nothing going to fruition. I wanted a computer in that year, nothing. I wanted at least a PlayStation 1, nothing. I wanted a cozy bedroom to make me feel comfortable, nothing. I wanted a new bed, nothing. I wanted a new wardrobe, nothing. And I still have the same one from that time and the same bed either. I saw a huge amount of money being made by my idea, expanding into a tiny grocery and I didn't have any little control of the percentage of it. I remember that time, I was asking my parents for any kind of salary. It could be 50 reais per month and I would be satisfied. I was a teen, but nothing. The response was always that I should be grateful for having lunch and dinner every day. What kind of stimulation is that for you to give a teenager that will become a professional tomorrow? The result was that I got so bad that my interest to the retail was becoming less and less. I was doing everything just for obligation, not for pleasure. At elementary school, the same. I was being attacked at home, on streets, at work and in class. I was doing everything in the automatic mode. I wasn't doing my best to learn anything just doing the average to pass the year. So you might be thinking, this is capitalism, this is how we work for the rich people. No, it's not. My father was getting advantage of the capitalist system. I will explain more ahead. In that time, I didn't pay attention to my studies at school. Sometimes I think it was one of the things that saved me from the socialist indoctrination. But what made me get more attached to capitalism was a character that I discovered between 2006 to 2007, Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, it's not a joke. Well, in your perspective it could be. I don't feel offended. 
for sure it's funny. I didn't get too interested in the character when I saw him for the first time in the DVD of DuckTales the movie, but the name of the film just saying the movie made me get curious to search about it. So one day I went to a land house next to the work and when I put on YouTube just the name DuckTales, boom. That classic scene from the intro of the series when Scrooge is swimming his money made a huge impression in me. Of course, if you do that in real life, you die, but that was the thing that made me get more interested in capitalism and the pleasure to become individualist. No, it wasn't fast like this. I was still a weirdo who used it to have anger against the rich. The transformation was slow. Well, my life just started to have a little decrease of stress when my father decided to close the retail and pass all the retail stuff to the front yard of our house, improvising everything. It was in 2010 if I'm not mistaken. Still tough. This is the way we live until these days. My father kept sending a big part of our money to my sister and he was also traveling to see her and her family. Our house was starting to get problems for the lack of repairs and completion. When it was 2013, I decided that I wanted to go to university either. I was just finishing my dependence in math, so I got time to research how it could be possible for me to start. I found a social program from the government called FIES. The government paid my studies until the end, but with some restrictions. I didn't fought twice. I studied hard to finish my dependence in maths to go to university in the same year. I called the guys that I used to consider my friends to go with me. They were doing nothing. It was graphic design. Well, in fact a really expensive course, but they pooped to my request. I had to go alone. Interesting is that I was the one working hard since I was a teenager to make money. But the money wasn't being made to serve my benefits. I just had to count with the government to pay my studies and I wasn't seeing the trouble it was going to cause to me. When I started in university, I learned these things. Number one, the course duration was two years, but nobody was able to finish the course in just that time because of a software called 3ds Max from Autodesk. I have inspiration for 2D animation, not 3D animation. And the first day of class, I wasn't able to be there because I was in the bank signing the papers of my contract with the government and the professor was an ass. Number two, I was in need of a powerful PC and a great internet speed to my works. The PC my father was able to provide. We had arguments and he many times refused to give me money to pay my transport to university though. But the internet speed was a 3G modem. And number three, don't go to a graphic design course in university alone. You need a reliable team to work with you in the final project. Well, the end was that I got stressed out with the amount of work and responsibility I got, as well as the bad treatment I was having at home and many other circumstances. I had to quit university in 2015 with a huge debt that I still can't pay. During this time, the scandals from the leftist government we had in 14 years was being discovered. When I saw the news of my country practically donating money for dictatorships that are failed economically, all the money they got from our high taxes saying they were doing it to give back to the poor, they were just robbing and sending our money to their own bank accounts around the world. Our public service getting bad every day. I wasn't seeing the return of our money. I didn't have any great understanding about socialism, but all I got was that socialism was the same my father was doing to me. In socialism, you don't have choice. You work for the government. They control every single company that exists in their country. My situation as a teenager was the same. I didn't have choice. I had to work for my father. Socialism doesn't want you to have your own place to create and make prosperity. They want you to share what you have to them through high taxes and make you and others stuck in the poverty. They are the ones who get advantage. You might think they are good people because they hate the rich. Are there bad rich people? Yes, as well as there are good ones. Nobody's perfect in the world. And even the bad rich people you need to pay your salary. I just got a full understanding about socialism and capitalism in 2018. I started to get into the conservative talks that was starting to show up in the politics of my country with the influence of Donald Trump's doing United States. Was in this way I discovered the ideology that encanted me and reminded me Scrooge McDuck a lot. 
economic liberalism. This is the classic liberalism, not the one pushed into the socialism like the new democrats are doing nowadays. I study a little bit watching a leftist professor explaining the difference between socialism and liberalism. Yeah, he did it great, I like it, he didn't lie. I also discovered another ideology that I flirt with some ideas a little bit, libertarianism. And when I started to follow the politics in USA, I got that Trump was doing everything related to liberalism and libertarianism. Seriously, sometimes I see Trump as Scrooge McDuck, that kind of hero that is not perfect, but we love a lot. Reality. So I hope you guys liked the video. My next one I'm going to talk about Team Sonic Racing and how disappointed I am with Sumo Digital. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.